hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i had a very interesting question so someone asked me after watching this particular video saying um how would they know if the control switch one is assigned to a particular effect for example maybe the control switch one is set to maybe the modulation or the chorus or maybe switch two is reverb or maybe switch three is the delay and then the switch four probably the eq for me what i normally do in my in most of my presets is i always set my control switch one to be my pre-block so you realize in this particular preset, you see this is where my uh, pre-block is. When I turn on the uh, control switch one, you realize it still turns on even though I've changed the position of the pre. And then switch two is always the distortion block. So you realize it's off and it's on. When I go to other presets, then save control switch two, always the distortion block. When I go to other presets, you realize my C or my control switch three always turns on and off the modulation block. And then my D is my delay. So it's on. Now I've turned it off. So this is basically my general rule of like uh, creating presets. And also because there isn't a screen to show you what effect has been assigned to a particular foot switch like uh how helix has it uh this this particular simple rule well on way to help you in a live situation but in a case where you feel uh maybe the effects or the presets that you created doesn't necessarily need all of these things you can probably uh switch things up a bit generally it will be easier to even remember maybe this particular effect has uh maybe my the d would be your reverb so you can switch things up now valentin has even extended the foot switches uh sorry the control switches so probably you could set the seven and eight to control switch five like this and then in the effect preset setting, you can set the control switch five to probably the reverb. So you can save. And then over here, I only have eight buttons, but well, it allows you to do button combination. Button seven and button eight will be my control switch five. When I hit it, you realize my reverb is off. So yeah, this is basically what I do. You could probably adopt it to suit your preset creation abilities. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Sorry for the background noise though. Thank you.